If you track with the channel, you know we're really keen on video pinball. So this is the Sharpin video pinball physical machine, a really large screen and arcade quality buttons and an Android processor inside that is good enough to run the Zen Pinball, Pinball Arcade, Williams Pinball. It comes in three different versions. We're playing here on the Android version. You can connect it to a Switch or to a PC and it comes as a kit. So this housing you're seeing here, you just screw it together, you plug in the different buttons. You then have a little UCB controller board, which you plug the buttons into, and then that plugs into either your Android device or your Switch, if you're gonna run it off of that, or, or maybe your PC. It comes with speakers built in, so everything in the box is what you need, but it's kind of a self-assembly. One additional cost it's worth bearing in mind is actually getting the pinball apps and games on your system, so you do need to download and pay them. There are some free ones, but the best one um, Zen Pimble, Williams Pimble or Pimble Arcade, you do end up paying for those tables, although you can try some for free. So, But a nice touch, and this is important for Williams Table, if you use this Octopus Loader, you add your app to it, and that means that you can configure the Sharpin Pimble to also do nudging as well. So when it loads, you'll see it pops up, and at the side of the screen here, we have this little octopus that if you then go and use your pointer to click on him, he will pop up an interface and this is the way for you to simulate touching the screen because many of the Android apps don't necessarily map the screen touch to the buttons and you've got a button for nudge and a button for flip. So the way to do that is to position on the screen where those buttons are going to trigger. Once you've done that and you've tied it to your buttons, you can then play the Williams Pinball on Sharpin with nudge as well. And anyone who plays pinball knows that nudging is a really big aspect of the gameplay. So it took us a while to work that out. But once we've done that, we were away. And it really was worth investing in a wide range of these Williams Pinball tables because each and every one of them has been handcrafted because they were going to be a physical table. So it's not like the kind of digital pinball that have just been built and sent out with good quality, I'm sure. The sort of brand franchises. But when you're making a physical table, it, double da it doubles down on how perfect every ramp, every mode, every loop, every spinner, every bumper is going to be. So if we head off back to the main screen of that Williams Pinball app, you can see if you go into Arcade Play, we've got all these unlocked and you've got a whole load of these physical tables to play. I was going to give my son a go on Fishtails because that's the game that I remember playing when I was at university. And as you can see, he was quickly off and away, moving in time with that ball around the board, trying to get those ramps and those loops. Um, and, as, and you can see the performance of the Sharpin Android version is actually really good. I didn't notice any delay, any lag. It has a kind of a, boil, a ball trail effect, but that's kind of normal for these pinball machines because your eye tracking needs something to follow. A physical object is a bit different. I think one thing I maybe would have liked is to see the screen drop down a bit so that it felt more like it was kind of behind glass. I've seen some other manufacturers do that and I think that's quite a nice touch. Um, also, it would be great to have a sort of a motion sensor to do that nudging and maybe some sort of solenoid feel so that when you press the button, it, it doesn't have that kind of hollow feel, but you feel that kind of motor click um, mode that really feels like a physical pinball. But this is a really great and pretty affordable way to play video pinball. If you looked at how much it was to be to build one of these full-size tables, um, you can spend thousands of dollars, never mind how much a physical table is. And as you can see, it's a great way to introduce kids into this world of pinball. And there's much more to these games than meets the eye. My son was a little bit reluctant at first, but as he got into it and started playing, he soon realised how the kind of the tables tell a story, the modes take you through different progression in the game, and you soon start to hit those ramps and get that instinct for the timing. And that, together with the nudging, I think makes this sharpening experience really good.